What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Diamond Egglock. In the last episode we headed up here to Jubilife City, got our Poketch and then we also caught I think three Pokemon to hatch them. I think it was three, yes yeah, three, I remember now. We hatched first off, well it wasn't Eevee, Eevee was illegal though so instead we went and hatched a Badoo named Luna. Then we also hatched a wing, uh, Wingo named Patters and finally we hatched a Slack Off named Shrek. As you can tell by the layout, I've got Shrek on my team and also Luna. Uh, Patters is in the PC. The reason I chose that is because if I had the Wingo on my team, a third of my team would be weak to, to electric type moves, which wouldn't be good. So um, I chose to put Shrek on instead. Shrek's not, not going to be brilliant because, uh, uh, because of Truant, rather. But hopefully we can make it work. Um, we'll have to see, shan't we? So everyone's level 8 now, which should be enough to take on our rival here in this battle. So I guess we'll just head over here and battle him. There he is there. Okay, straight off the bat. Let's do it. Hey, Matt. You t yeah, that's a completely different voice than what I did last time. Hey, Matt. Tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Yeah, his voice is going to change every time we come into him, guys. I'm sorry for that. It's just going to happen. Anyway, Pokemon Trainer Barry is going to be carrying probably... Starly, yep. Starly and the starter. We chose Chimchar, so he's going to have a Piplup. So, um, I guess that's alright. we got two grass types, so it shouldn't be too bad. Starly, let's do this. Let's go straight for the Heat Wave, get the stab off. The power, the power is real for Becca here. Well, I guess we'll see once she actually uses the move. Um, but hopefully it is real. Hopefully it is, we'll see. Okay, what we got? Yep, the power is real. Clean one hit kill. So said the bit makes egg lock slightly easier because obviously you get uh, egg moves rather than just moves in the wild. Okay, and obviously I said up next is Piplup. I'm not going to stay in here. Going to get to Luna or Fox Seed. Now checking moves. I don't think either of them have. A, oh, okay, we have Leaf Storm on Luna, which is not brilliant, but um, I might go to Luna since obviously it's got Leaf Storm, whereas Fox Seed has not got anything but Leech Seed. In terms of grass type moves, so uh, Lunar it is for the nice clean egg. I guess we use Leaf Storm straight off the bat. Or maybe we can put it. To, uh, what do I want to do here? Um, oh, yeah, we'll go straight for Leaf Storm. We'll see how it does, actually. Leaf Storm, let's come through! Very powerful move. Hopefully, it does a lot of damage to this Piplup. Um, yep, yeah, one egg kill. Exactly. As I said, guys, egg moves make this game a lot. Make this sort of Nuzlocke run through a fair bit easier, at least to start off with. So it's all good. Okay. And nice experience for Luna. It's going to get to level 9, which is good because obviously it's going to be helpful for the next gym. Whereas Becca slash Foxify is not going to be as helpful. Okay. Pokemon Trail Barry defeated. What just happened? I lost? Yes, you did, Barry. Indeed, you lost. Terribly, actually. What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'd ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer. You know it. The first thing to do is take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that totally. See, I think his voice changed like from what it was at the start of the episode to what it is then. So, yeah, I can't I can't remember what voices I do, guys. I'm not brilliant at it. Okay, let's put Diego up front and we'll have some more battles around here. Let's go for it. Oh, this is a optional battle, so we're not going to speed it up. Oh, wait, no, we are going to speed it up, was what I to say. Let's do it. Who's he got? Okay, we'll go for Bite. A nice note or possible flinch. Zubat's coming in next. Uh, I'm going to send Shrek out try and use this thing. Uh, nice slash, please. Okay, one hit kill. I'm fine with that, actually. I'm completely fine with that. I'm not going to complain at all. Uh, nice slash and hammer arm are pretty good moves for Shrek, to be honest. Um, nice slash, high critical hit ratio, and hammer arm being slow, lowering speed, but not like speed really matters. Okay, that will go as not tr uh, challenge us, so. Okay, and let's battle this guy next. What have you got to say to me? We're always together. I will show you how we've bonded. I'm always yawning as well. This is really annoying. I don't like yawning, guys. Okay, let's hope. Yeah, okay, we took it out before the bide came to finish the bide. Otherwise, that would probably been Diego gone because bide is an absolute. I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. Bide is just terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not, not the best move. Okay, oh, should have switched out then, really, because Diego's leveled up. But we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it, guys. I found a trainer looking for some Pokemon. Yeah, because you're not on damn grass, are you? That's a very obvious flaw you have in your design there. Okay, Badoo's coming out, so obviously we're switching to Fluffy here for our nice clean pecs. Okay, want to kill. I'm fine with that. Um, we'll, uh, we'll level up Becca, yeah. Let's do it. Ember this thing rather than Heat Wave, just because I don't trust Heat Wave to actually hit all the time. And that's that battle done. Another battle over here. Let's switch out Diego because he's getting overpowered now. Let's put in. Let's put, let's put Foxy up front, actually. See if Foxy can actually get to learning a grass type move before the next gym. Because um, otherwise, it's not going to be that helpful. 
Abra is going to just switch out, so we'll try and take it out of quick attack. Nope. It's just going to teleport. Wait, this is a new route, wasn't it? Fuck! Oh, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> then again, it wasn't Abra, so it's not like we would have very had a very easy catch there. I completely forgot. Oh, I completely forgot, because the first grass we went through was there. We, yeah, we didn't go for grass there. Oh, I just completely forgot, guys. I'm sorry. Um... But as I said, it was an Abra, so it's unlikely we would have been able to catch it. Well, we could have thrown a Pokeball and tried, but we might not still have um, been able to catch it. So, anyway, let's get on with this battle here. Whatever, what's happened, happened. So, give me a battle so I can see, give me a battle so I can see if I'm ready for the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Okay, do it. Let's do it. You got a Machop. Um, I mean, Leech Seed this thing up probably is best. First off, since Quick Dad doesn't do much. Um, so Leech Seed is best for health point restoration as well. And that's the match I've gone. Foxy level up to level 9. And that's all good. Youngster Sebastian defeated. I guess it means I'm not ready for the gym challenge yet. Nope, you're not, Youngster Sebastian. I'm sorry. You're not. Okay, let's get Fluffy level up next. And then we have Shrek and uh, Becca to level up 2. Okay. Hello. I got a Nifty Keen gym badge from the gym leader in Orberg City. Let's go. She's beaten the gym, apparently, so. But she's still terrible. She's not very high level, so I don't know how she beat the gym with a Starly as well. And a Bidoof. Um, and that's it. Yeah, she beat, managed to beat a rock type gym with a Starly and a Bidoof. That makes sense, doesn't it, guys? Okay, let's uh, slowly make our way around. Nope, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Try to make it around with a wild encounter, but it's just not going to happen, is it? I may as well battle the wild Pokemon I encounters for a bit of extra experience. Or repel. I mean, I'll stock up repels because at uh, the moment they're not very. I mean, they're helpful, but um, it's probably more helpful to battle the uh, wild Pokemon for a bit of extra experience rather than skipping them over. Okay, so this is indeed going to be a new area in here. I might send Shrek out um, just because that's not the best choice, to be honest, but we'll see. Okay, this guy's going to give us. Um, oh, looky there, you got a Poketch. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of this hidden machine to you. Obtained HMO 6, which is Rock Smash. Hell yeah. That hidden machine, or HM for short, contains a hidden move Rock Smash. A Pokemon learning Rock Smash can smash small boulders in the field, but the trainer has to have the gym badge from Old Milk City. If you don't have that badge, you can't make a Pokemon use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. Thank you for telling me that. Not like I didn't know already. Okay, let's catch Pokemon. Let's do it. Are we going to have to? There we are. Okay, what's it going to be? It's going to be a Geodude. Okay, so second Geodude we've, we have to catch. Let's see. Come on, Shrek. You've got Scratch, which is, I'm pretty sure it's not going to do anything, so that's what we're going to use. We also got Yawn. That could come in helpful, too. Scratch. I mean, I'm probably going to speed this up because of the low damage we're doing, so. Plus, obviously, we have a lack of sloking around. Sloking around? Uh, loafing around to deal with, too. Okay. Uh, it's going to. I'll go for a Pokeball now, actually. Uh, I don't want to stay in battle any longer. Need to battle more Pokeballs soon as well. We're going to run out. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Hallelujah! We caught our next Pokemon for the route. So we can, can hatch another egg here. We should, well, we, we might be able to hatch two, but unfortunately, as I said, I screwed up that encounter on the last route. Plus, it was an Abra, so might not be able to catch it anyway. Okay. Let's put Becca out the front. And we shall continue along this route battling these campers. Okay, let's do it. We trainers accept challenges anywhere. It's what we do. Thank you for telling me this. Shinx. Um, now, I said I was going to speed up optional battles. This technically is an optional battle, but I, I'll try and not speed up all train battles. I'll try and, you know, sometimes... Well, I guess you guys can tell me in the comments section below, guys. Do you want me to speed up all the trainer battles? And obviously leave gym, gym, I guess gym trainers, gym leaders and such as normal speed and whatnot. Just let me know what battles you'd like to speed up, what battles you wouldn't, I guess. To celebrate get my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you. It's hardly hard to get through this cave. It's like literally 20 steps. Anyway, uh, thingy, last Diana. I uh, didn't switch Becker out, so unfortunately she's still in here. I think Shinx is coming out next. I'm going to send Shrek in. No, Psyduck. Okay. Managed to read Shinx as Psyduck, but I'm fine with that. Night Slash. We're going to live around. And there we are. Okay, thank you, Psyduck, for being very easy to take out and not using any attacks on us. Okay, let's all rest away through this gym. Through this cave, rather. Howdy, trainer! If you don't have a single gym badge, our trainers look down on you like you're a total noob, right? So I'll show you where this town one gym is. Okay, thank you, young boy. I wonder if you have this gym badge. Probably not, to be honest, so... <laughs> Here we are. Huh? There's someone there. It's Barry! Okay, Barry, let's do this. Huh? 
Oh, it's you, Matt. You finally got here. You're slow like always. You're so slow that Jimmy is long gone now. He said he had to go, uh, oh yeah, to the old road mine. He got my, I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but... Thank you, Barry, for caring about me. Okay, let's head to this Pokemon Center, quickly heal up, and then we shall go and hatch that Pokemon. Then we have two areas to try and catch Pokemon in, um, which is above Orberg and below Orberg. Okay, uh, deposit. No, I guess we'll just move Pokemon rather than deposit. Move Pokemon. Okay, okay. Uh, Geodude, let's switch you out for, um, I guess, for Diego for the time being. Um, okay, and we're going to box one, box two, box three, box four, box five, box six, box seven, box eight. Okay, Geodude, let me get my random number generator set up so I know which one to actually pick. Between one and thirty, please. Generates, we have 14, okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The egg is going to be Brinders. Brinders, that's a weird name to be honest. Brinders, okay. Let me get out of there. I'm just going to check if it's got an item quickly. It does have an item indeed. Which item is it? It's, it is a... Um, what is that? Is that a... I can probably see it better in the inventory, can't I? I don't know if it shows you in the egg. Uh, I think it's a Miracle Seed. Uh, I can't quite tell the summary. Yeah, Miracle Seed. Okay. Let me just grab my notepad, which I seem to have moved again. Brilliant. Okay, got it. So, I'm going to write down the name for it too, because I'm not sure how to... I'm not sure if I can remember how to spell it. Bryn... Durs. Okay. <laughs> okay. And holy Miracle Seed. Okie dokie. Uh, I've given... I've got the Shiny Stone from Luna in my inventory, and i also got... The Mystic Water from Patters is actually being held by Patters at the moment, so yeah. Okay, Brinders, let's go and hatch you, I guess. Speed up a bit, because there we are. Okay, that was a fairly quick hatch, okay. What Pokemon is Brinders going to be? I have no idea, guys. So, it's going to be a... Chikorita! Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty decent, Chikorita. Brinders, okay, I've never really... I don't know what's that a reference to. Um, but yeah, Brinders. That makes sense with the Miracle Seed. I should have predicted the grass type, shouldn't I? Brinders. Let's just check I've spat that right. Brinders. Yep, I have indeed. Okie dokie. Sweet. Okay, we'll put... Well, we level Brinders up first, to be honest. Um, oh, we need to check his legality too. I'm just going to check the uh, level of the Geodude, which is level 5. And we should just check the legality of this Chikorita first off. Make sure we haven't got an illegal one. Because we'll have to rehatch if that's the case. Quiet Nature, which is going to boost special defense, uh, no, boost special attack and lower speed, I'm pretty sure, um, if, if from what I remember. Uh, Overgrow, obviously that's Legal Nature, and okay, let's just quickly get up Chikorita, Chikorita, Diamond Pearl. Tackle Ground, Leaf Storm, Ancient Power. Tackle and Ground obviously are the two starting moves, which is fine. Leaf Storm and Ancient Power. Um, Leaf Storm, uh, Egg Moves, there we are. Leaf Storm is indeed there, and Ancient Power is indeed there as well. So that's all good. Legal Pokemon, it's all good to know. Okay, Brinders, let's level, level it up to level 5. So that's our third Grass type now. So we've got quite a few Grass types, guys. <laughs> um, but we'll find at the moment. Okay, Brinders, let's level you up. Level 2, level 3, level 4, and level 5. You do not want to learn. I thought we might want to learn Absorb or something. But apparently doesn't know that's level 7, I think. So, deposit Brinders in... Oh, we should just move Pokemon around first off. Uh, it's probably easier. So, we'll go all the way back to the Alive box. And we'll switch Brinders out for um, Diego357 once more. Yeah, you see Patters is there. Apparently it's not holding an item, so I'm going to have to see that. Maybe I've already taken it and put it in the bag. I don't know. I'll check it out, guys. If I haven't given the item, then obviously... Um, yeah, obviously I'll get it off screen now. <laughs> Oh, not, not now, but at the end of the episode is what I'm saying, guys. I'll get it at some point. Let me just check the bags if it is in there. Yep, they are in the Mystic Water and the Shiny Stone. Sweet. Okay, just thought I was freaking out. I thought I hadn't done it. Well, I was pretty sure I had done it. Anyway, Orberg City. Okay, um, I guess Shrek will go out first. Shrek has Hammer Arms, so it could be pretty good for this gym. Actually, we're first up, we're going to uh, catch Pokemon up here, aren't we? So let's go and do that. Route 207. Let's go up here, and we'll head to the item at the back at the same time. Okay, what Pokemon do we have to try and catch here? It's going to be a Geodude again. So many Geodudes, guys. So many Geodudes. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to speed this up, because otherwise it's going to take us a while, because of the lovely slacking around and everything like that, plus the fact we have to deal minimal damage. 
Living around, scratch, living around, scratch. It's gonna wake up. Now we get for we'll live around, then we get for yawn. And we'll go for scratch once more, I think. And then I'm gonna go for the capture now. I need to catch more Pokeballs. I need to catch some more. I need to buy some more Pokeballs. I don't know how you'd catch Pokeballs, guys. Do you know how to catch Pokeballs? I don't, so. One, two, three, caught. Awesome. Another level five Geodude, so again, level five. <laughs> Everyone's level five when they hatch, apparently, so uh, that's alright. Okay, Geodude was caught. We shall not give it into Geodude. It's gonna go to the live box. Awesome. Okay, oh, we need to get the item the first uh, first things first. We're gonna run away from this thing, hopefully we can. Yes, we can. I need to switch out Shrek, because it's not the fastest Pokemon, so I wouldn't want it to get caught. So, what have we got over here? Another wild Pokemon, apparently. Let's peck this thing, get some more experience for Fluffy. Okay, it's gonna be a Pokeball. Awesome. Well, we have to buy quite as many now, do we? <laughs> Since we got another one. Okay, uh, Fluffy, Pursuit. Uh, Dragon Rush, maybe, is that do? Yeah, it does loads of damage. Pursuit, Pursuit. Sweet, level 9 for Fluffy. He wants to learn Sing, but it can't learn more than 4 moves. I'm gonna get rid of Astonish, because Astonish isn't really helping me at all. Um, so, we should get rid of that. Sing might come in helpful too, again, for catching Wild Pokemon and stuff like that. It's all good. Okay, let's run on back down to the Pokemon Center and hatch another egg. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some Pokeballs first. So, where's the Pokemon in this town? I can't remember. There it is there. I got you, Pokemon. I got you. Okay, let's buy some potions. Or buy some Pokeballs rather than potions. Haven't had to use any potions quite yet, so seven more Pokeballs will do. I mean, I've bought some potions, haven't had to use them though, so I've got seven. Um, so it's all good. It's all G as. Okie dokie. Head on back down to the Pokemon Center and switch out another egg again. I like hatching loads of eggs, guys, it's cool. Just gonna heal up quickly though, just for the sake of it. Sweet, okay. Awesome, okay, let me see. Move Pokemon. Let me just quickly switch out the 357 yet again. And we got the Geodude again, okay. So let's go on to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're on box nine now, so again, between one and 30. The number this time is going to be number 20. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I know I know I could predict which one it was, but I like doing it equally. So the egg is gonna be Dragonfly, so I have a, a very good idea of what this might be, so I guess we'll see. Um Dragonfly could be a Yanma, could be a trap inch, something like that. Uh, it's holding an item again, so I'll quickly check what that is. It is going to be a Insect plate, so yes, probably a Yanma. I'm uh, just going to write down it needs an insect plate here. Insect plate. Do you want to put that in after we finished? Okay, let's go and hatch Dragonfly. Very inventive nickname for a Yanma, obviously. <laughs> That's sarcasm. Okay, so the egg is going to be a. Yep, it's Yanma. Shiny Yanma, apparently, but it probably won't stay shiny. I guess we'll see there. Yanma hatched from the egg. We shall give it into Yanma. We shall call it Dragonfly, as I said. So, dun, 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 lower, drag on, fly. Awesome. Dragonfly. We shall check the legality of it first off, and obviously whether it's shiny or not, which is most likely not the case, but we'll see. Summary nope, not shiny. The shiny is very, very, very weird to do, guys. Okay, Tim in nature, so that's good for it. Speed boost. I'm pretty sure that's a legal ability. I should just gonna quickly check that. Um, Yanma, Diamond Pearl. Da, 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 da. Yanma, Diamond Pearl. Speed boost, yep, it's normal ability. I, was, I wasn't quite sure whether it was hidden ability or not, but it is normal, so that's all good. Um, and the moves are Signal Beam, Leech Life, Faint, and Faint Attack. So, um, I guess we're just going straight to the uh, egg moves here because there's no basic moves. Egg moves! Signal Beam is there, Leech Life is there, Faint is there, and Faint Attack is there as well. Awesome, so this is a legal Pokemon. We can level up to level 5, and we can put it back in the PC box, because I don't really want to be using it for a rock-type gym, guys. <laughs> Wouldn't be the best choice, would it? Would not be the best choice at all. Okay, 1, 2, 3, okay, it's 4, and 5. Awesome. So that's Dragonfly all leveled up. Let's put it back in the PC and get Mudkip back out, and we can go and catch our final encounter for today's episode. And I'm just going to deposit it. I'm going to move it around, please. Okay. Uh, let's just speed through the boxes. I think that's the alive box. Okay. Get Dragonfly out, and switch him out for Mudkip. Awesome! 
awesome, 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 awesome. So yes, we're going down to the Orberg Mine now, which is another encounter for us, which we can get. I also said I was going to get down to Sand Gem Town this episode, wasn't I, guys? Um, but I guess I'll do that next episode on our way back through Jubilife, because I don't know what to do it now. Um, there's no, okay, there's nothing here but a house, so I can't remember if there's anything in any of these houses to get item-wise, so I'm going to ignore them for the moment. Okay, let's go down into the Orberg Mine, or towards the Orberg Mine. I think there's an item up here, if I'm remembering correctly. Nope, no item. I mean, I can try and find a hidden item, though. Yep, there's a Stardust. Found the hidden item, guys. I've played this game too much. I know where hidden items are, to be honest, a lot of the time. Uh, is there any item over here? There may well be. Nope, nothing there. Brilliant. Dash my hopes, guys. Dashing my hopes. Nope, nothing around here at all. Okay. Let's head down to the mine. Who's out front? I've got Fluffy out front, which is not brilliant, to be honest. I'm going to put Foxy out front again, because we all know Foxy is a good guy for catching rod Pokemon. Okay. Let's grab this item. It's going to be an X Defend, which I'm probably never going to use. Or I might just sell. Okay. Right, so there we are. There's our Pokemon. I bet there's another Geodude, isn't it? Yep, seems Starly and Geodude is, is all we've caught for, for encounters apart from one Bidoof. That's all we've caught. This thing is level 7, so it's going to be slightly higher, um, which is pretty good. Okay, fight. Let's go for a quick attack. I'm going to speed it up because it's a quick attack. I mean, we're, do we're doing one health point damage each time, so it's not like we're really going to harden up myself. Just um, to so I don't take, less, take less damage from it. Okay, now we have quick attack. Just slowly weaken him down. He's doing like 2 damage to us, I think, each time. One damage, okay, that's pretty cool. Doing one damage to each other, so that's all good. Um, okay, now, yeah, that was a critical hit there. You see, it did the more damage to the Geodude. Let's go to the Pokeballs, and we'll try and catch this thing. Hopefully, we can catch it. I mean, it can't kill us in the next turn, because the Hardens, but... One, two, three, and caught successfully. Yes, another successful capture for our team to hatch an egg from. Awesome. Okay, Geodude, let's do this. Go back to the PC in the alive box, please. Yep, we got this. We got this, guys. We got this. Okay. Oh, no, Pokemon. Onyx. Uh, I'm going to run, hopefully. Can't escape. Okay. Going to switch into another Pokemon rather than running because I don't want to lose um, Fox Seed, really. Let's go into Luna, who should be able to take it pretty well. Leaf Storm to the face. Yep, bit of extra experience because why not? Better than trying to run away with uh, Fox Seed and then getting killed by a tackle or something of that effect. Because that's not good, especially I don't like losing Pokemon to wild Pokemon, that's stupid. Okay, I'm not going to heal up, just going to go straight to the PC here. And we shall grab another Pokemon to switch out. Move Pokemon, party Pokemon, oops, no, let's not do that. Party Pokemon, please. There we are, Diego, switch in for Geodude. So now we're going to box number 10, I'm pretty sure. Let's just speed this up quickly. Box 9 and box 10. Okay, this is a modest, modest Geodude, so it's terrible, but... Between 1 and 30, we're going to 22 this time. Okay, so yes, I shall skip some this time. 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. The egg is going to be Boom. Okay, simply named Boom. I shall check if it's got an item first off. It does indeed. We'll check what item it is. And then we shall go and hatch it. Boom. The item is going to be a Leftovers. Okay, it was obtained at Celestic Town. Sweet, uh, Leftovers. Okie dokie. Quickly put that there. Okay, let's go and see what Boom is going to hatch into, I wonder. Hmm. I, I'm, 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 I don't know, really. I'll have to see. For the leftovers, I'm guessing it's supposed to be a bulky Pokemon, but I, I don't know, guys. We'll have to see it when it hatches, which is right now. So, Boom is going to be a... Larvitar. Okay, I guess that works, Boom. Um, since it wrecks mountains and everything like that, I guess it sort of works. Should nickname the newly, newly hatched Larvitar, Boom. B O O M. Boom! Yeah. Plus, yeah, I was trying to press the OK button, it wasn't working. Let's just check the legality of Boom first off. So um, I know whether or not it's legal. So the ability is adamant, not ability, nature is adamant. Ability is gut, so I'm pretty sure it's legal. Let me get the page open now. Um, Lavatar. Diamond Pearl. Bum, 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 bum. Diamond Pearl, uh, Guts, yep, yeah, it's the only ability to be able to it, so it's good. Um, it goes Dragon Dance, Outrage, Stomp, and Ancient Power. Sounds like it would get those, but we'll see. Egg moves, where are we at here? Okay, Dragon Dance is there indeed. Outrage is there indeed. Stomp is there indeed. And Ancient Power is also there indeed, so yes, it's legal. Awesome, let's level up Boom to level 7. 
and we shall be on our way. Okie dokie. Okay, boom, level 7 for you. 2, 3, 4, 5. Sandstorm, I guess we can learn Sandstorm. I don't know what move I want to get rid of, though. Um, they're all pretty good moves, to be honest, so I might not get rid of any, because assu assuming we manage to get boom to a Tyranitar, it's going to have Sandstream anyway. So that's all good. Level 6 and level 7 for boom. Awesome. So let's put boom back in the PC since obviously we're not using it quite yet. I'm quite happy with the team I've got at the moment. Uh, the way I tend to do Nuzlocks and Egglocks anyway is I'll use Pokemon until I lose members of the team. Um, and then I'll switch in Pokemon from the box to use. So it's not like I'm generally going to be like, oh, this Pokemon's better than, like, I don't know, this Pokemon's better than, uh, what is it, uh, Shrek. So I'm going to switch Shrek out. I'm, well, I might switch Shrek out actually just because it's Shrek. Um... We don't need a water type, we don't need a grass type. But bug type, as I said, for the gym isn't brilliant, but we can do it for a rock type for Rift Bulk. So I might switch him out, um, Shrek out for Boom, just because it's going to be more powerful in the long run. Whereas Shrek is going to be a bit hard to use. I mean, at least as a slack off. I guess I'll see though, guys. I'll train, or I'll look at Pokemon on screen and decide eventually. Uh, but I think this brings an end today's episode of the Pokemon Diamond Egglock, since we hatched three more eggs. Yeah, could have been four, but I fucked up on the first encounter, so excuse me for that. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. As I said earlier, please let me know what you want, like what kind of battles you want sped up down in the comment section below. Whether you want to see uh, all trainer battles, some trainer battles, you know, the ones that we have to do. Don't speed up the ones that you, I'm just doing for experience sort of thing, speed up sort of thing. Um, let me know down in the comment section. Also answer the question today to the right hand, well, it's on the, it's on the right hand side of the screen. <laughs> and also if you haven't already, please be sure to drop a like on the video to keep your support for the series showing because I'm really liking how the support's going at the moment and it'd be awesome if we could keep that up in the long run. But uh, for now guys, I guess I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye my friends.